What's going on everybody? In this video, I'm gonna talk about my YouTube analytics and how much money I made my first month being monetized. If you've been watching my videos since this channel started in March, you'll know that I originally started this channel to kind of track my progress with reverse engineering project 24 and building a blog site. And then I also started talking about how I learned how to code and that's kind of been the focus of my channel. It was honestly the best thing that I can think of to talk about. I know that I wanted to make a channel that could help people and I also wanted to make a little extra money and I figured how better to do that than to talk about my experience and how I learned how to code and became a software developer, 100% uh, self-taught to help other people out there that are learning how to code. And that's been the main focus of my channel. But here and there, I throw in a few different videos. And since this was the first month of me being monetized on YouTube, I thought that I should share those analytics and how much I've made in my first month of monetization as a small YouTuber in order to maybe help some people out there who are thinking about creating a YouTube channel, maybe the people that are watching my channel for projects 24 or maybe even the people that are watching my channel because they're learning how to code or anyone else who's interested in what a new channel can make when they first get monetized and that's what leads me to this video and as you can see some of the stuff is blurred out right now I'm gonna save the money for last because I kind of want you to stick around and watch most of the video because that helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and can potentially help get this video out to more people with all that said let's go over some of my analytics let's take a look at what my views and my watch time and my subscriber count and all that was for the last 28 days this has obviously been my biggest month and my channel just continues to grow I did not post a video for almost nine days. I did post a video recently, but you can't see it here because it it was this morning, so YouTube hasn't updated to show the little bubble here to show that I posted a video. So the numbers for the that video aren't really affecting these analytics. But as you can see, I've had 34,000 views in the last 28 days. And putting that into perspective, it gives me a little bit of anxiety to think how many people have viewed my channel and watched me talk about different stuff on YouTube. It's pretty crazy because I remember when I started, I was getting you know a few views a day if I was lucky, and the number has just kept growing and growing, and that's super cool. I've had 2,800 watch hours, and I'll, I'll go into these just to show the you know that they've been on an upward trajectory with 52 and 42 and 47 here all the way up to recently where I'm getting pretty close to averaging like uh, over a hundred uh, watch hours a day you can see I've had some highs and some lows for subscribers but it's still kind of going in an upward trajectory this was yesterday which was my lowest day for subs and I only got 12 I'm still pretty happy with that I remember the days that I would count and hope to get five and would be super happy if I got five. Again, I'm gonna save the money for last. I'm gonna zoom out real quick and show you what the lifetime of my channel looks like, just so you can see where I started and how much this has grown. As you can see, some days I would get hardly any when I first started. I mean, we're talking four, nine, one, six views, and then things just kept going. This was actually, this big spike here was actually, I ran some ads on my, my channel in hopes to get more eyes on it. And honestly, it didn't do much for it. But as you can tell, I kept posting videos and I kept going and little by little, this graph just keeps going up and up and up all the way up until the point that we're at now. And it's really crazy when I zoom out and I watch this. I got to a thousand subs way before I got to 4,000 watch hours. So unlike some channels who get their watch hours first and then have to wait for their subscribers, I actually had to wait for my watch hours after I got my subscribers. And by the time I actually got my 4,000 watch hours, I was pretty close to 2,000 subs. I wanna say I was at about 1,700 subs or so when I got monetized and I got my 4,000 watch hours. And then you can see here with the watch hours, same thing. Early on, nobody was watching. I mean, I'd get lucky if I had one hour of watch time for the whole day. And as it continued to grow and I continued to make videos and I just kept posting videos and I just kept making content, it grew and it grew and it grew up until recently where I'm averaging like 100 watch hours a day, which is pretty nuts because I was happy if I would get 100 watch hours for the first couple months. And then my subscriber count, same thing. Everything is an upward trajectory. It's all 
for me, it was all about being consistent. I didn't have anything go viral. I had a few good videos that did well with search. I had a few videos that, that didn't do well. And I had a couple videos that got shared here and there, but nothing went viral for me. I had a few spikes and a couple shares that helped me out, but nothing crazy. And, and it was just a matter of consistency. To be honest, that's, that's all it's been up until now. I've been doing this for what, eight months now. And you can tell that the only thing that I'm doing is I'm just continuing to make content. And I did have some subs and I still have them now who have been here since day one. And it's pretty cool to have a little community going. And I didn't really consider that when I first started the channel. I was just trying to make videos. I didn't think of this as a social media platform. I really thought that I was just gonna make content and that was gonna be the end of it. But then I saw that people started responding to my content and started communicating with me and started hitting me up. And it's really cool to talk to people who watch my stuff and that I've been motivating and helping throughout this whole you know, last eight months. So I really like that. I'm gonna go into my revenue tab to kind of show what my, my CPM and all that is. This is showing my lifetime here, but since I've only been monetized since November 3rd, my first day of monetization, I made two cents. And I thought that I was, you know, I was like, oh boy, here we go. I'm gonna make nothing. But I'm actually surprised with how much I'm making. Let me just show you the last 28 days. And here we go, here's the money. You see, I have made $217 in the last 28 days. That is from November 6th all the way up until December 3rd, and I'm pretty happy with it. I did not know what my RPM and my CPM was gonna be. I honestly still have a hard time understanding this stuff, but I, I have a better understanding of it now after being monetized for a little bit and doing more research. When I would watch videos early on and I wasn't monetized, I would hear them talk about RPM and CPM and I, my eyes would glaze over. But now that I was monetized, I, I figured I should learn this stuff a little bit more. And I believe that I'm doing very well. I'm part of a, a YouTuber community that I can't talk too much about because it's like a secret society and I may have already said too much, but I'm talking with other YouTubers there that are in my niche and it seems like like I'm doing fairly well and I'm super grateful for that. I was expecting to make like 20 bucks at best and I am blown away that I have made over $200 in the last 28 days of being monetized. As a brand new channel hitting monetization, I think that's crazy. I think those numbers are really high. And that's pretty much it. I, like I said, I'm gonna probably keep some of my videos that are performing well blocked out because I don't, I don't necessarily want those to get out there. I might have lightning in a bottle in some of those videos that I wanna make sure I hold on to for a little bit and try to recreate some of those or add on to what I already have to see if I can keep getting views on certain topics that are doing well for me. But with all that said, there you have it. That's that's how much money I made in my first month. Those are my numbers right there. I showed you everything. I wanna be transparent. A lot of this money is gonna get rolled back into YouTube. I plan on doing this stuff for the long haul. I, I'm honestly a little addicted to it. It's super fun. I've had a great time. If, if you're out there and you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel and you're, you're on the fence about it and you're not sure, it's so funny that one of my better performing videos, probably one of my most popular videos, is one of my first videos that I made. And that was shot on my cell phone. The lighting was awful. And halfway through the video, there's an ant crawling up the wall that has become kind of famous now. There's multiple comments on that video about the ant. If you're curious, that's the one that I talk about, how I became a self-taught programmer. It's literally like my first or second video that I made, it's the high school dropout self-taught programmer video, and it's awful. The editing is terrible and all that, and that's one of my top performing videos, and it's also one of the videos that's bringing me in a decent amount of money right now. So. Don't wait, just start. You're gonna suck at first, just like with anything, with learning how to code, with creating a YouTube channel, with anything you do in life. When you first get started, it's gonna be hard. You're not gonna do well, and you're gonna feel like there's no point in continuing because you 
you're terrible and nobody's watching your stuff and you're not any good. But if you keep going, you'll get better and eventually you'll grow and you'll progress and maybe you can become a YouTuber. I still consider myself a very small channel. I'm approaching 3,000 subscribers. I'm trying to hit 4K by New Year's. I'm going to pump out a ton of content in the next like three weeks and the schedule is just going to be all over the place. I'm going to try to get a few live streams. I'm going to try to do more interviews and I'm going to have a lot of stuff coming out and I'm really going to hit the ground running when uh, the next year starts and I have a whole bunch of content ideas lined up and I'm just going to keep going. And if you enjoyed this content, if you enjoyed this video, if you want to see the updates on my blog site and how that's going, or if you just enjoyed my wonderful personality, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you drop a comment down below if you have any questions. And with all that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.